Now let's demonstrate sideline soft tissue manipulation for the quadratus lumborum. To work the right side quadratus lumborum, we need to have our client on her left side so that the right side QL is oriented upward toward us. We have her scooted way over to the side of the table for our body mechanics so we're not leaning over the table. We have a pillow or a bolster between her knees to keep her pelvis stacked. The advantage to side-lying position is I can use my body weight to simply drop down into the QL. So it's a very efficient position to work the muscle. The first thing I need to do is I need to find the lateral border of the erector spinae. Again, if the client is in good condition, I can just feel the contour. If I cannot, this is a little more awkward in this position to ask her to engage the erector spinae, but I can place my hand against her trunk and say, press back toward extension, press back against me, press back, and I feel the erector spinae engage and relax. And I found the lateral border right here. I now drop a little more lateral off that. I will brace my thumb contact. One hand will be in front, the other hand in back. If you would like, you can flex your fingers and pull them in. But if it's comfortable for you and the client, I let my fingers drape. I keep my elbow joints stacked, and now I just drop down with body weight. And I can press in toward the transverse process attachment. I can press upward also toward the 12th rib attachment. I can angle a bit back inferiorly toward the iliac crest attachment. This is with static compression. If I want to do a gliding stroke, I would need to apply lotion and then glide along the tissue, always working lateral to erector spinae, always orienting my pressure medially deep to the erector spinae along the quadratus lumborum. Demonstrating a stroke with lotion, we apply lotion to this area, just enough so we can glide along the skin without abrading it, not so much that we slip. And now that we have the lotion applied, we can press in from lateral to medial, deep to the erector spinae, along the quadratus lumborum. If I'm standing at the foot end of the table, my stroke would be from inferior to superior. Perhaps three to five strokes. Another advantage to sideline position to work the quadratus lumborum is we can work it while it's slackened. Whenever we want to work a deep muscle, we usually want to slacken the area so the skin and all superficial tissue becomes relaxed and we can penetrate in deeper more easily. We can do that here. We can either do it with a bolster or using our own body. First with a bolster. I'll take this pillow out. I'll place a larger bolster in here. This brings her thigh up into abduction it drops her pelvis into depression on the other side, elevation on this side, which slackens this area. I can now find my contact, lateral to erector spinae. And now because the area is slackened, it is easier to penetrate into the quadratus lumborum. Instead of using a bolster, I can put my foot up on the table, place her thigh on my knee, and now again find my contact and just drop in with body weight. The advantage here is I can change how much abduction her thigh has and therefore how much slack we have in the QL on this side. And again, just utilizing gravity, I just drop in with my body weight. 
keep my upper extremity joints stacked for maximal efficiency.